Yes, guys, looks like showrunners have been found for the new it TV show. Welcome to Dairy, a prequel series, I should say. So, this is going forward. Hey, people are thinking, oh, is it really going to happen? Is it really going to happen? Yes, it's happening. So, we're going to get into this, guys. So before we do all that, like, share, subscribe, you know what to do, help your boy out, it's that rare 1,000 subscribers that I'm trying to hit right now, so uh, help your boy out, notification bell, press that, so I'm in your inbox immediately, put a comment in the comment section down below, get the interaction going, name two, place you can get me, Twitter and Instagram, and white dollar sign right there, Legend of the 101, Gonna go the extra mile. So let's do this, yo. Let's get into this, yo. Let's see what bloodydisgusting.com has to say. My favorite, my favorite website on the internet. So let's do it. Let's check this article out. So John Squires, my boy, follow this guy on Twitter as well. This guy's got some good takes on Twitter as well. I like, I like following John Squires. He published this initially. Today, so I say welcome to Dairy. It prequel series still happening, and showrunners have been found. Oh, my boy, Bill Skarsgård. Look at him. Look at him, Mr. Pennywise. Okay, so let's read, read on. So, as we learned earlier this year, HBO Max is now developing a series titled Welcome to Dairy. Yourself as a prequel to the two Stephen King movies from Andy Muschietti. All right, let's keep reading. So, for right here, report back in March, the series will begin in the 1960s in the time leading up to the events of It Part One, the 2017 film based on the Stephen King horror novel. The story is also said to include the origin of Pennywise, the clown. Oh, okay, the origins. How, how are they going to do this now? Let's see how it's going to be when he first touched down to Earth. I don't know, we'll see what's the Okay, all right. Well, technically it wouldn't because this is that modern day dairy when he first hit modern day dairy, I guess. I don't know, we'll see what's that goes. Variety also noted that Andy Machete and Barbara Machete are back on board to produce the series. Okay, so we've got the Machetes back. From the it franchise, modern day one. So interesting. I like that. Creators of the movie had to help in doing this show. That's how it should be. Uh, so what's the latest on that project? Well, it looks like HBO Max is definitely moving forward with Welcome to Dairy, as two showrunners have been appointed to lead the series. Okay. Variety reports today about Jason Fuchs, Wonder Woman, Ice Age, Continental Drift, and Brad Caleb Kane, Windhaven, Black Cells, Fringe. Oh, okay. Brad Caleb Kane, big fan of this guy. Got service call showrunners. Variety notes HBO Max is giving the show a series production commitment. All right. Okay, HBO Max is fully on board with this. I'd like to hear that. So it says the site also notes that Andy Machete is being hired to direct the pilot episode. Okay, so he's going to direct the pilot, get it kicking, get it off, off to the races, you know? Yeah, as he should do. Come here, Georgie. <laughs> Come here, Georgie. All right, uh, okay. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to focus. <laughs> Published in 1986, Tim King's Master Novel was, of course, first turned to a miniseries in 1990 with Tim Curry, playing the role later played by Bill Scott in that movie. Okay. Yes, that they, if you haven't seen the original, it, so, bro, do yourself a favor, check it out, that mini series, check it out. For the kids and the adults. So, yeah, just go to the check it out. Tim Curry, legendary. Pennywise, Bill's Card Guard, awesome as well. Okay, so we ain't gonna read all that, we already know. He hit the clown, we already know what he brings to the table, we need to read the plot of that. So, we are. Pushing along, pushing ahead with this. Welcome to Dairy, it prequel. So it's interesting to me how they're going to do this because in the sequel, it it too, you see like a picture of got no when they're 
they went to the old woman's house at the start of the movie where you see portraits on the wall of Pennywise the clown like him as almost like a humanoid like a human living the monsters in a in a circus so that could be, that's and I've always wondered um, how that would look on film if he was just being a regular human being <laughs> I'd be, I'd be insane he was a regular human being just like living life oh my god I'm weird as heck just killing people on the side like just for, that'd be epic I need that if Welcome to Derry is like the idea I have in my head let's do it I'm ready let's go let's go I'm ready for this but um I've got Annie Machete back you know what I'm saying to um, helm the show you know what I'm saying to uh well get off the ground you're gonna pilot pilot the show pilot the ship and then leave up to the show and to run it from there on in but they're producing the show so they're helping you know what I'm saying with the uh ecosystem of the show make sure it's uh the law's good the plot's strong you know what I'm saying but it's run like a well-oiled machine uh, which I like to see because they create the um to it, it would be so so yeah I like this news tell me guys in the comment section down below I know you guys think as well because uh, I find this massive Pennywise the Clown fan massive Stephen King fan so I want this to do well I loved Castle Rock love anything to do with the Pennywise stuff and be the clown I love it um, so yeah it's good news uh, very good show as well, especially Brad K. The King. That is a great pickup for the show. Fringe, one of the greatest shows ever made. Um, big fan of um, Brad K. Um, Kyle K. So, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff you know what to do. Press that like button, baby, if you love the content. Twitter and Instagram. Cash out, who donate to the channel, go the extra mile for your boy. So, wherever you are, then that's safe out here in these streets. This is Legend of Horn. I want signing out. Peace. Come here, Georgie.